Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuznone, Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I am answering is, what's in the box in regards to this very unique small board game box? What this is, is this is a game of essence, aroma, which has been published by Organic Aromas, a company that makes essential oils. So you have a mass market essential oil company who is produced a board game, which I got to admit looks pretty good. Um, I do have to thank Organic Aromas for sending a review copy of this game. But like I signed up for this. I was all for it. It's not like this came unsolicited. And it has four different modes to play. All using essential oils. And I guess it's fascinating. I am always impressed to find a board game that does something new. A new theme or a new mechanic. Well, essential oils and scent is definitely a new mechanic to me. But enough about that. Like you, we want to see what's in the box. Unfortunately, I can't offer this to you in smell vision Because that would be awesome. Because then you get a whole new... Um, I don't even know what you would call an unboxing that was scent-based. Um, the the, the smell, smell and spiel. Which was a, a joke thing on a different podcast. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a look at what's in our in aroma. All right, here we have it. We have the small box for aroma. I'm opening this for the first time, have never seen what's in this box. And just so you can see, I thought this was an interesting choice. No name anywhere on the front of the box. So if you were displaying this at a at a game store, you'd have to make sure it's sideways which I thought was an interesting choice by the uh, whoever did the graphic design for this. So we have the instructions, which it looks like are going to be a fold out. Okay, so it folds out pretty far here, actually. So what we have is the Discover game, which is two parts. Let's see if we can get it over here so you can see it. So you have a two-page game called Discover. And I'm going to really quickly look. Starting player selects an oil from the oil tray, smells it, and identifies it without revealing it. Selects another player to challenge the statement, this is this. So it's a bluffing game. You're going to smell something and go, ah, oh, it's this. And then other people are going to say, oh, you're right, it is that, or no, it's not. And you're going to try to discover the different scents. That's, that's a really quick summary of discover. Then you have survive, which I think is kind of an intimidating name for a scent-based game. How to play. The starting player takes their piece and places it in front of any other player's aroma token. Selected player then picks the picks the oil without identifying it and checks they know what it is. They pass it to the starting player who smells and guesses the aroma. If they're correct, they collect the aroma token and the oil is set out of side over to play. If incorrect, it reveals in play. It's now the attack player's turn and they place the player's piece in front of any oil of their own. So you are trying to eliminate all of the oils and survive being the last person. So that's Survive, which is also two pages. Um, there is a list of all of the aromas. So we'll toss this over here. That is an extensive list of aromas down here, which does give you a good idea. I would think for the first couple games, you'd probably want to reference this while playing. Instead of just guessing right off the top of your head, you'd have an idea of what they smell like. Uh, it does list the contents here as well. Um, next, we have Revolve. Which I'm not going to read the how to play this one. You can discover that on your own. So another two-page game using essential oils. And then finally, we have Collect. Which is the last of the game types. So it looks like we have different boards for each of these instead of one. Or maybe it's one central board. Okay, so the board I thought was going to fold out. Instead, it's separate pieces. So you have floral... Scents, plant scents, tree scents, and citrus scents. What I like about that is you could rearrange this any way you wanted. You could I don't know if it matters, but you could randomize the order. And on the back of each of these, it looks like there's a list of all the scents. Yeah, so there's a list of all the scents on the back. These are nice, thick boards, a good size. Oops, sorry, I'm upside down here. And again, there is a list of all the tree scents that you might find, which is good. Because if this was just off the top of your head, I don't think I'd get any of these scents. Unless it's something really distinct, like orange. I don't think I'd have a chance. So here's an example of the plants. The floral scents. 
Again, I'm still kind of blown away. A board game about smelling things. I have never played a board game. I played dexterity games. I played lots of strategy games that challenge your mind. I have never played a game that challenges your nose. I'm guessing some type of start player token. Um, so again, we have a list of all of the different scents. So this is like a player reference card. And then on the other side is um, each of the different types. So the floral, the, the tree, citrus. Oh, no, that's tree. Sorry, I forget what green was already. Plants. Uh, then there are a number of business cards in here. Business cards, say cards, sized cards. Which I guess that's a change. In any hobby board game, this would be hobbit-sized playing cards that are half the size of a normal card. This is in a resealable package. Uh, so there's... Well, this makes sense, right? They're trying to sell you nebulizing diffusers or whatever. This is organic aromas. So there's a little ad for that. So you can buy some diffusers or whatever. But what's in there? Oh, you even get a coupon code. Well, I'll cover that up so no one watching the unboxing video steals it. Um, then you have... What here? We have... Oh, this one's the other way. Oh, we have a second card. Then we have a full description of each of the scents. So the cedarwood scent... And what it talks about is um, when you might want to use it or something. So let's see. Let's see what Cedarwood says. Uh, it's got the it's Linnean Taxonomy, which is the name the, the scientific name for Cedarwood. If you are a frequent sauna user, this smell will not elude you. Cedarwood comes from the stem distilled extract of cedar tree barks. Adds a woodsy smell. Warm properties and mixes well with other spices, spicy essential oils. This essential oil is relaxing. Make it perfect for saunas and spas to help with stress reduction. I gotta admit, I feel kind of like I just read a beer review. So maybe maybe this will go in with that. So we have one of these for everything. So I don't even know what LME is. I've never even heard of that. We got marigold, cypress, clary sage. And to be honest, I am not going to go through all these. Marjoram and a stack more of scents. Then we get to the fascinating looking stuff here. So we're going to toss these cards back into this. And we have uh, wooden like resource cubes. In the colors of the various types, which I'm going to forget again if I don't leave these out somewhere where I can remember them. There's no list on the back of one of these, are there? All right. So in the plant color, there is a large plant leaf. So you got a large plant leaf. And a number of plant cubes. Four plant cubes. Then we got the same thing in floral or purple. Except I just dropped one. I'm dropping these all over to be honest. So we have purple. So we have a big floral and then a bunch of cubes. We then have trees. Sorry, there's five cubes. I missed a green. Four cubes. Five cubes of each color. Five cubes of each color. There we go. The trees. I like the little tree meeple. Then the citrus is a lemon. Makes sense, and they made it yellow. All right, so some wooden components. Cool. Not a bad little box insert here. You can kind of see what we got going on. So there's a little cardboard like box to hold the these components. And then what we got here. Oh, okay. There's more here than I thought. It's a double layer. It almost reminds me of like a folded space insert here. All right, so there's one of these little trays. These are not going to be resealable. Well, technically, I guess they are. There's tape. I am probably not going to bother resealing these. So you get this little little tray. Here, we can show it off better here. So you get this little tray, and in it are these little cardboard tokens showing each of the scents. So here are, I don't, I don't know if there's multiples of each one. What I'll do is why don't we go through this whole set? So I'm going to put this here. <laughs> I'm going to try to take them out. So we have orange, lime. Oh, we're getting some bad static there. Sorry. Orange, lime, lemon, grapefruit, bergamot. Something I don't even know. And now we're back to orange lime. So here we go. So we have multiple sets of each one. Lemon, grapefruit, bergamot, orange lime, lemon. So we have one, two, three, four sets of each of the scents. 
and we'll try to put these back in. I'll admit these are a little fiddly. A little tiny. So we're going to throw that back in the box before it gets spilled. So then we have that in other colors. Probably for the other types. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm worried I'm going to drop a whole pile of these on the floor. Okay, got it. Bag ripped. So now we have the green ones. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You can kind of see tea tree on the front. And for whatever reason, these show the orange on the back. And the last one showed the green on the back. I don't know why. So that kind of nests in here. And then I'm not going to bother opening these. We have red ones and purple ones for the other two scent types. Then we get to what everyone's most excited about to see. Wait, maybe not. So these scent sticks, I honestly don't know. So one of the things I did not notice, maybe I just went right by it, was how to smell these. Like, is this like you're supposed to do the scientific waft? Or are you supposed to actually use, like, these sticks where you put the incense stick in and then the oil infuses it? Let's see if there's anything in here telling you how to smell these appropriately. Here, this is um, for my podcast co-host, Sean. See who goes first, the Discover mini game. Determine who goes first by dropping the aroma cubes one at a time in the center of the board from the height of the aroma box standing upright. One player is awarded for each cube touching the inner circle. The color with the most points goes first and takes a starting token. That's pretty cool. There's like a mini game where you, you, you like drop the cubes. You can't be upset about that starting player, Sean. Okay, seriously, is there a disclaimer? It includes real essential oils that are diluted with four parts blended carrier oils. Beware, they're extremely strong and concentrated. Do not ingest them. Put them on your skin or near your eyes or mucous membranes. Could cause irritation or allergic reaction. Shake the oils first or roll them on a paper strip to release the aroma. Okay, so it does talk about rolling them on a paper strip. But I don't know what that means. I don't quite know what roll them on a paper strip means, to be honest. But the, it gives you paper strips. So paper strips for rolling the aromas. All right, then we have a little sealed package here of essential oils, numbered one through five. We'll crack this open. All right, so here you have essential oil aroma holder, and then each one has an essential oil. Oh, interestingly, they're mixed up. So this would be number two. This is number seven. I don't even know. This is number nine, this is number 11, this is number 13. I admit they, they fit in here so-so, but you know what, I don't, I don't know if you use the string play. If you use the string play, that's kind of lame, but if it's just for packing it up at the end of the night, that's not so bad. All right, I am going to grab number 13. We're going to open up number 13. I probably should change the camera so you can see me. Oh, I now understand what they meant by roll. It onto a strip of paper. These have a little roller ball in them. And I'd be really tempted to roll it on my hand if it wasn't for the fact it said do not roll it onto your skin. So yeah, there's a little roller ball. You'd shake this up and why not use up one of these paper strips? So here we go. We have an essential oil and we're rolling it on here. Oh yeah, that definitely came out. So we have, my room now smells like something. Yeah, I couldn't tell you what that is. <laughs> it's some kind of floral scent. All right, what is, it smells pretty good. It's actually not overpowering, surprisingly. Like, I can smell it, but it's not like, I'm like, oh my God, that's terrible. All right, what is that supposed to be? 13. Yeah, I would have never got that. Rose Geranium. Rose Geranium, number 13, is what I just smelled. It smells good, though, I gotta say. That is a pleasant smell. So, what would be interesting, though, and kind of the point of this game is, by playing multiple times, I should eventually learn that scent. 
right? That's the, the what you would get from this game is you would eventually learn the set. So I'm not going to bother opening the rest of these up. I don't think there's any point. I'm going to keep them nice and sealed so you have another set of essential oils. And we have two more here. I don't think there's any more you need to see. There you have Aroma. All right, there you have what's in the box for the very unique board game Arona, Aroma, sorry, Aroma from Organic Aromas, a game about essential oils with four different ways to play. Discover, identify your five aromas faster than your opponents. Survive, eliminate players by naming all of their aromas before they do and be the last man standing, or last one standing, sorry. Uh, revolve, smell and pass the oils around, identify the most aromas under pressure and you'll be victorious, and collect. Find all the aromas that belong to your category. Once you bring them home, you will win the game. So four different games using scent. That blows me away. This is a board game about using your nose and I think that's fascinating. I think that's really interesting and really cool. I am looking forward to actually sitting down at the table and playing this game. So I am Otuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Our main hub is our website at tabletopbellhop.com where you can find all kinds of gaming content. Before you go, make sure you hit that subscribe button, pound the bell so you get notifications when we go live. If you're catching this on somewhere other than YouTube, make sure to thumbs up, like, and do all that stuff that us content creators love to see. If you enjoyed the show and would like to support our continued efforts, also please consider tipping the bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. That's it for me for Aroma from Organic Aromas. I am Otuzno, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.